number 20 for him this year. Sydney had not been beaten at their Harborside headquarters in 20 games. All that was about to change. This was a game that made the skeptics stand up and take notice. Midway through the second quarter, Sydney led by 38 points, but then St Kilda took over. Harvey weaved his magic. Lowe and Everett with the twin peaks up forward. It's the last kick of the quarter, and a very important one for St Kilda, who's seen Sydney kick away, and Stuart Lowe has finished the term with a goal, and it's his second. Pushes it back again towards Carey. Zilla, maybe a little quicker. Flicks it in towards Winmar. Interfered with. Couldn't take the mark. It doesn't matter. Harvey has it. He's 48 metres from home. He needs a goal. And St Kilda score their fifth. Well, the Swans have come through a spell of wet weather and have kicked 22 and 25 goals in the last couple of weeks. They look as though they might better it today. But Winmar comes out of the middle and kicks a top running goal. couple in a row now would be handy for the Saints. Harvey out of the middle. It bounces up towards the 50. Low. Back to Burke. Oh, well done. Didn't quite reach Daniels, but he slipped the tackle. Now he puts it up in the air. Lappin. Got it. Matthew Lappin right in front. And that is two in a row now for the Saints. Tony Brown there, Rowan Wharf also, up in the air it goes. St Kilda desperate for a goal here. Snap partly smothered, could have almost been a free kick to Duncan, who was held without it, didn't go very far. Jack Daniels, now sometimes he's an interesting kick, well he comes across the ground and he finds ways a bit of it. 14 points Lee at quarter time, as you say, they get this one now, brings them back to 21. Still well and truly in the ball game, but that could bring rain. It's high, it's just about got the distance, I think, that kick. Deceivingly high, but it's straight and it's low enough. Running past. Floats a left foot past to Harvey. Uh, <laughs> he's like a pound of margarine, isn't he? He can just escape. He's a hard man, tackle. He's a hard man to tackle. With that just swerve the hips. The spider for his second. Uh, the left footer looks okay, and St Kilda need more of those rapidly. Stevens forced to stand his ground, and he caught one in the back from Stuart Lowe. He's slow to pick himself up. Winmar from Burke, wider to Wakeland. He marks inside 50. And that's what you have to do, because Ruse was caught 10 metres from Wakeland, because he plays that way, so... He's got to kick this first. Wakeland, a long bomb. Pretty good kick, too. He's got his second. By three-quarter time, the margin was back to 16 points. The final quarter was a beauty. Roaring for Sydney, but uh, Zilla gets the Saints out of the middle. Mark dropped in defence, wake on the hand pass. Headley bats for goal and kicks it. Three points the margin. Pickett took it a long way. Headley in the middle of the ground. Pretty open forward line. Wakeland's there, Ruse from behind. Brown flips the ball out. Healy, ball bouncing. So close. Ozzy Jones, did he kick it? The Saints in front. Only as far as Shanahan. St Kilda go charging forward again. In the half court, Stuart Lowe takes the mark. 45 metres out directly in front. From 46 metres, the drop punt. Well, he's made a liar out of lead. He's done it with ease. He's done it with ease. Towards the other Ooh. side, low, met head on, and Stewie Lowe will take a free kick. Advantage. It spills out to Zilla. Long to the goal square. Wakeland's there. Spills off. Leppard. Great shot. That's the winner. The Saints are... St Kilda by nine points. Four on end and into second position behind Adelaide. Lowe and Everett, the major contributors. Harvey with his sixth three-voter for the Brownlow. 
normally at this time of the year, you, you, there is a gap has opened up, hasn't there? And uh, and you, you're talking about you know eight and uh, probably as I said nine or ten sides now fighting for the eight. But as you said now, I mean it's it's really anybody. And you know and the the, the amazing thing is that you know you, you lose a game and you're sitting third or fourth, and the next week you can be ninth or tenth. You know and uh, so I mean that that, that just puts uh, enormous pressure I think on everybody. Um, but again, fantastic for the whole competition. Jones is bamboozled by the wind, so is Keogh on for his first run for the year. Burke, clever. Fremantle was knocking on the door of the top eight. With their distinctive brand of football, they are always a danger. At Waverley on August 16, they jumped the Saints. On a blustery day, they led by seven points at quarter time before.